July 1912, San Francisco. A Frenchman who has been living in the USA for a few years is about to board an ocean liner for an amazing cinematic journey around the Pacific. He has been in California since 1911, and Santa Pola, to be exact. This Frenchman is a pioneer. He is one of the early adventurers of the seventh art and filmed some of the first Westerns of the 20th century. But he quickly grows tired of all this. He wants to live, go further, to film what he hopes has never been filmed before. His Pacific voyage will last 10 months, taking him from California to Japan. He films the Polynesian lagoons, the temples of Borobudur and Ankar, the gardens of Kyoto and the Buddhas of Kamakura. Moreover, he seems to be the first to offer fiction roles to the Polynesians, to the Maori, and to the Aborigines. This amazing cinematic journey at the end of the Belle Epoque and at the advent of the early cinema has practically disappeared. This cinematic pioneer fell into oblivion, largely eclipsed by his younger brother. Indeed, his family name is famous, but his first name is unknown. His name was Melius, Gaston Melius. Yet Gaston's story is almost as extraordinary as that of his younger brother. While Georges was making imaginary trips in his Montreux studio, Gaston traveled the world for real, going to the most remote places, 